Let's see if we can get more from our next guest. He is Republican Texas Congressman Pete Sessions, a member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, glad to have you with me. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. So do you know what's in those documents that were seized? This is uh, the term that was used today by the media, bubbling up. This is bubbling up. However, there were people that became aware of this before today. And that is some of the questions that we as House uh, members have. When did they discover this? What was the process that was used? What were those documents? And when did the president know about this? These are all pertinent questions because as we remember, House administration, House government reform and oversight became engaged in a number of these personal issues with former President Trump directly as soon as they heard about it. So we believe it's important for us to go and get the facts of the case, know what they are, and follow and expect federal law enforcement to be forthright in what they do. So let me ask you, Congressman, as someone who will be investigating this and, and seeing those documents, do you have any, any idea what, what's in those documents? There are reports out there, possibly their intelligence memos, and they covered sensitive topics. Do you know? Have you seen them? Has anyone within your committee told you what's in those documents? Uh, we would request the documents, not piece part, but all in total. It would be inappropriate for us to look at them a one at a time, so the answer is no. We want to know a whole list of the documents. We want to know the circumstances surrounding those, and we will not ask for, for things on a piece part basis. Got it. Okay, just one more question about the documents. You know, President Biden's attorneys, they are the ones who obtain the documents. Biden says he will fully cooperate. You know, this is a big difference here uh, between Biden versus the immense amount of pushback that the Trump team gave the DOJ as it tried to retrieve the more than 160 secret documents stashed away at Mar-a-Lago. So clearly, there's huge differences here. Is this just all political payback from House Republicans? No, I, I don't believe it is. I believe that when you deal with documents that are sensitive to the United States, to our allies, and secrets that we do not want to be generally available, then there needs to be this classification agreement. People who touch the document should know what they're doing. I'm not going to sit here and say who's bigger uh, a, a vendor or who's not. We simply want to make sure what they had, that they have their hands around it and it's treated properly, and we want to know what that is. Got it. And of course, we'll continue to follow uh, every, every move and, and keep close contact with you about uh, how that is going for sure. Now to the days long battle that none of us will forget <laughs> for House Speaker last week. Uh, we've heard some Republicans say, hey, democracy is messy, but this was downright chaotic. And at the end of it all, Kevin McCarthy still becomes speaker. All eyes were on the new majority here and, and looking to see how it was going to rule. So what was really achieved? And, and why couldn't the GOP just get leadership on the same page before it became such a public spectacle? How do you feel? How do you make sense of the chaos? Well, the, the facts of the case really are that we did not know, the country did not know, we did not know what the final outcome from the election was for nearly three weeks. During that period of time, there were conversations about whether we won the majority or whether we won by five or six. All of these questions evolved around the question then, okay, what is the, uh, the how's the conference gonna respond to this? We had, were led to believe on the night of the election that we would perhaps win by 20. So the conversations began then, as we realized we'd won the majority, negotiation began. And the bottom line to all this is we have Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is kind of like making sausage in public. And it became that because of a difficult transition of negotiating what some people wanted, who, many who are brand new, and what they were asking for. We soon saw that it centered upon not just the rules of the House, but the Rules Committee. And those became very interesting discussions. So I would just say, what is my take on it? The people who then extracted what they did and an agreement with Mr. McCarthy, 
they will soon find themselves, they will be on the Rules Committee, have an awesome responsibility, and I think we will work together as a team. The question about long-term, what do people think about us, comes when we either make it work or we don't work, make it work, and I think we can. Or, or to ask you what you think of uh, Republican George Santos, the Republican prairie dog, shrouded, shrouded in investigation. He kind of pops into the House, and he makes a vote, and then he disappears, and he pops up again. And now he's popping up in front of the cameras again. He's asked to resign. He says, I'm not going to, and he disappears again. So just let me ask you, you know, does the GOP need this black guy? Should Santos go? Is he just a distraction for your party right now? The, the questions that surround this are what he officially notified not only the National Republican Congressional Committee, that would be our conference, but also what he notified the House administration when he filed his paperwork as a candidate. Those are still not clear. If he provided information to the House of Representatives that was incorrect, it would be referred to ethics. If he misled the National Republican Congressional Committee, then it would be up to our conference to hold him accountable and to hear from him that we have not done yet. So I think that there are questions that abound. That I've, I've read that there are questions about his money. Well, he has to fill out an, an income tax form very quickly. Was that money withheld? Was it paid for in a 941? Was it reported? So the, these things have to be vetted through before we make that determination about what that answer is. As you try to move forward now as the majority and make change, and now you've got your Speaker of the House, is this somebody that you and fellow Republicans really want representing who you are right now moving into 2023? Well, that, that's a big question, but I would have to say back to you, uh, we need to hear from him. He has admitted that he had some, some things that were not right and that he even deceived people. The question is, did he try and deceive us who he was to where our party was counting on something different, or did he just go and, and, and make himself a splash in the district? We are going to hear from him. It will be done quickly, I'm sure, if not this week, by the time we get back in a full another week. And then we will make that determination as a body and as a group based upon the facts of the case. Well, of course, we are eager to hear from him as well as we've tried to track him down and uh, he escapes to the elevator. But you are in front of us talking to us about everything and all things here in 2023. Texas Congressman Pete Sessions, I always appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Pete. You bet. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.